Hey guys, welcome back to Blasphemous. Heading now into the Desecrated System, uh, entering from just down here near Mercy Dreams. And uh, we're going to head across to the left and explore this area. Quite a few things to find. Um, you will need to watch out for the dripping, um, the dripping acid from these pipes. That can do a lot of damage. So heading straight across to the left, uh, two rooms to the left. Blessed are the eyes that with devotion see my tormented heart. Let the ones who are joyful in affliction and fasting come to me, for they are pleasant penance. Six sting pains lance my flowery breast. Take the first one and purge one of your six mortal stains over the soul. So we have taken one of the swords and that does give us a health boost. So maximum health has been increased. Now let's continue up here, dodging past the acid. Uh, continuing up this way, first of all, for the collectible. Uh, scaphoid of Fierce the Leper. Rejected by his family, his village, and even by other lepers, Fierce only found solace in the echo that his voice returned to him when he took refuge in the tunnels of the Desecrator system. Okay, dropping down, heading to the left. Um, thought I hit at least one of them there. Uh, just very carefully making my way across here and uh, freeing the next child of Moonlight, number 4 of 38. Uh, then across to the left, up the ladder. Now, over here to the left, we can't go very far because it's filled with this poisonous mist, or this toxic gas. Uh, instead, we're going to head across to the right. Now, we can kill this guy if we want. Now, when he rings the bell, he, do, he does summon the uh, zombies. Um, but there's not really any need to do that, so let's just head up the ladder. And I'm going to unlock a shortcut here. So, first of all, heading across to the right. And uh, pulling the lever, this takes us back to Mercy Dreams, so if you haven't picked up everything from the shop here, now's a good time to do it. Um, I did pick up everything though, so we are good to continue. Um, the third item from that shop is going to come in uh, handy a little bit later. It's the, uh, the Moss uh, Rosary Bead. Uh, let's just wait here. Uh, first of all, heading up uh, this side on the right. Trying to avoid the... Uh, oh, trying, to, trying to avoid the acid. Easier said than done. It's hard to see. Oh, he just comes back immediately. Um, let's actually just jump over these guys. Uh, 
Ah, uh, there is something very important over here to the right. Let's take out the bell ringer. We'll stop those zombies from spawning. And in the chest, we have the empty bile vessel. Um, so we're going to fill that up later and get an extra uh, extra potion. Okay, so just straight down and then over through the exit to the left. Um, I don't believe there's anything worthwhile um, further that way to the left, so let's just continue up this way. I'll try to kill this guy here from here if I can. Might be a bit safer way to do it. out this exit waiting for the acid let's take a look at the map and see where we are um, do I want to fill in that spot down to the okay so that's going to stop me getting 100% of the map unless I do actually uh, explore that uh, I'm not too concerned about that so I will just continue let's wait for the acid jumping up here quickly blocking no I was a bit too slow Chopping uh, down, first of all. Now we have the second corpse. It must be around here. The bell will, will not stop ringing. I hear it jingling even in my dreams. His hands are wounded from all the digging. It must be around here. Just one more wound. I hear it close by. Uh, we can slide under here, but we can't pick up this item yet. Um, we can't jump uh, too high uh, from the water. So instead, we'll head across to the left. Refill empty biliary vessel in exchange for uh, 500, yes. So we're gonna do that, get uh, potion number three. Uh, let's do it again. Potion number four. Restore health and fill uh, vessels. Uh, I don't need to do that, so um, you automatically restore health once you come here with a vessel. Uh, so we've got four now, which is great. Let's continue on. Um, I'm just thinking if I want to go up and to the right. Uh, there is something up there which we can't reach at the moment, so I'm going to leave that. There's a, a child of moonlight, um, but we don't have the uh, the reach, the jumping ability to be able to reach it at the moment. So we will leave that. I'll go back there another day. Uh, instead of going up here for the collectible. Now, so let's take a look at this. Humorous of McMitten's The Nurse. A nurse and cat lover, McMitten saved countless lives, human and others, unable to bear saving those who showed no respect for life. He put an end to his own. Uh, climbing up here, this takes us back to the, uh, the wasteland of the buried churches. Um, so let's break that, open up the gate, and that gives us a shortcut back. Instead, let's um, drop down here, head across to the left, and let's just see where I am, heading through this passageway. Um, so, a few pathways to take. I'm going to go down first of all. I might ignore these two characters. Uh, chopping down here, breaking the wall, heading across to the left. 
Anoint yourself with the oil of pilgrims. So this is where we get a, a magic upgrade or a fervor upgrade. So we've had a health upgrade and a fervor upgrade in this uh, this area. Heading across. Um, now we can't do too much going down, so we're going to go to the right. And uh, this is where the moss uh, rosary bead comes in handy. Um, let's go to the rosary beads here. And um, I need to take off something. Recovers health. Uh, creates fervor. Let's get rid of that and instead put on the moss preserved in glass. Gives some protection against toxin. It, it's not immunity, um, but it will help you survive a little bit longer. Uh, in case I fall in, which I might do. So just up around here to the right, um, hitting that lever. Oh god, okay. Right, that's what I thought might happen. Um, I would have died if it didn't have the moss uh, bead. So that definitely did keep me alive. Now let's refill my health a little bit and we're going to pick up the uh, Black Grieving Veil. Dark cloth that has kept its silky feel despite the passing of the years. One of the three remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. Number two. No one knows what they asked for in that prayer, nor why they didn't want to be wedded. The miracle with the Screepers plans went to the aid of the sisters, if you can call that aid. Oh, okay, so dropping down here, heading back the way we came. Quick look at the map. Uh, I think we've explored all that we can of the desecrated system. Um, that's where we've got the magic upgrade, so let's head back up this way. And we're going to find uh, another shortcut back to Albero. I didn't want to grab that, I just wanted to jump straight over him. Um, so back up here, this time we're going to go to the left. Let's take a little bit of health, just in case I run into trouble. Kill the bell ringer, open up the gate. So let's check out this exit first. This takes us to uh, the Mountains of the Endless Dusk. We'll explore this at a later time. For now, back into the Desecrated System. And uh, we'll head over this way. Two faces greet you, Penitent One. My name is Nascimento. Look at my chest, upon which an ancient visage grows older and older. A face that does not speak, that does not think, while mine becomes younger, such that I now look like a child. Such a terrible sentence is this, that I do not understand its purpose. No matter how much I reflect on the sin that I may have committed to deserve it, the grace of the miracle is present, even in those who are punished. Perhaps I might reduce the magnitude of this sentence by helping you. Bring me the Quicksilver, which is capable of flourishing under our feet in any place at the whim of the Grievous One, and I will mix it with the bile from your flasks, thereby enhancing its gift. Okay, so if we have the Quicksilver, we can give it to him and he enhances the flasks. Uh, I don't have that at the moment, so me the quick silver, we will just have to leave. Just capable of flourishing under our feet in any place at the whim of the grievous one, and I will mix it with the bile from your flasks. Okay, we will be back later to complete that quest. For now, let's continue out the door here and head on up. Take this exit uh, back to Albero. Now we'll go inside and drop off the bones. Uh, 
Now we have found a few more, quite a few more. Listen to the creaking of the bones in the darkness, for they hear us too. The bones are grateful for your help. They are awakening, and with them, so too is the voice. Bring the rest of the boat. So that is it for the walkthrough of the Desecrated System. We'll be back. Uh, we will need to go back there and pick up a few extra things later on. Uh, for now, we're just going to hang out here in Albero, and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching. Time outside these walls passes by strangely.